Damian Lillard, who is one of the best players in the NBA, and you brought him up earlier, he just accepted a two-year, $120 million extension, $122 million, I think, dollar extension with the Portland Trailblazers that could, if he's not traded before then, it, it, it'll finish his career in Portland. And um, he is a guy that, you know, hasn't won a championship. And quite honestly, Ephraim, I don't think he will win a championship. But Rob G, tell us what he said. We've kind of banged a little bit. We haven't crushed him, but we banged a little bit on Bradley Beal for being in a situation in Washington, saying he wants to win, but resigning with that hapless team over and over again. Uh, tell us what Damian Lillard said about staying in Portland rather than trying to join, go somewhere else and join a team that could win the championship. Well, Chris, he said a lot, but here's the money quote. He said, quote, I've always said that if I do something that goes against who I am and say I do end up winning, I know me better than any of, all, any of y'all know me. So I'd be happy with it because I don't think anybody wouldn't be happy being a champion, but it wouldn't be as fulfilling to me as I would want that moment to be. As long as I have an opportunity to do it, a good opportunity to do it, which is winning a championship, I'm willing to go out however. I think it's a very mature statement, Ephraim. I'm going to let you share your thoughts before I dig in. Look, man, you got to realize, okay, not everybody. We get caught up in this whole thing, especially when you have, you know, a team like or a player like Tom Brady gets seven rings and you have these little – baby dynasties with Golden State and you have the the Lakers run at a dynasty and, and, and these teams. Wait, 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 wait. What? Baby dynasty. Golden State winning four and six years is a baby dynasty, but the Lakers was well, Lakers a dynasty. Have se- Lakers have 17 straight? championships. Okay, but That's I what I mean. about right? like, lately, like, like a di- dynasty. Like, okay. Look, I just wanted to check the Lakers well, fan in you. No, you but know, don't, 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 don't check it because – in the eighties, they won five in in in, in ten years, well, right? That, like that so, was forty years ago. But that's what I'm saying. Like I'm saying in terms of dynasties, right? Golden State but has why four. Was Golden State a mini dynasty because they have four, four in six years. Yeah, but only five four in 10 though. Years but only the four though. Uh, but it's in six years. That's a dynasty. Okay. All right. Anyway, um, I know you got the hat on. You just got low, just low, got low. Hey, you got excited right there. You, 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 dad, you couldn't had wait to, to check jump that. in. I'm just you're saying, not checking right. it. You come on, okay. man. <laughs> right. you, you, check. You're not. You're not. You're <laughs> check mark. <laughs> you know, you're not checking nothing, man. Come on, man. Catch, catch up. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, uh, and, and so we get swept up in this. Oh, everybody's got to win a championship. Everybody got to get. You got to go. You got to go get you one, man. Right. You got to go find a team. You got to get you one. Everybody doesn't get a chance to win a championship. Some of the greatest players in the world have never won a championship. Absolutely. And that's not always. And I'm not trying to say Dame Lillard isn't. He doesn't want to win a championship. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is he's not going to chase it. If it's not something he wants to, he feels good about. Right. He has made it clear, abundantly clear, he wants to stay in Portland. Can Portland put a team around him that can win a championship or compete for a championship? No. (laughs) Right. Okay? No, they can't. Right. We've seen them fail time and time again. Not a lot of free agents going to Portland. Right? So, with that said, look, Dame is, is... is a dynamic player. He's going to be making a, I mean, a half a you billion said it dollars. Four hundred thirty-five million dollars. Half a billion dollars. Yep. Right. So, Dane from Oakland, East Oakland. Four hundred million dollars from East Oakland. Right. Oh, right. he good. He good. He's good. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's the top. Come on, man! Player. Like it's He's, like what? What, what are we doing? Know, we we want to nitpick because every year, right. because he doesn't want to jump on the trend of going to team up with everybody else and going to somebody else's team. This is Dame Lillard's team, so he would have to leave his team and go join someone else's team to win a championship, and he's not with it. Well, let let me say this, and I want to see if you agree with this or what your thoughts are on this. 
I respect Dame. And I said, look, and I respect Bradley Beal, too. I said, I said about Bradley Beal, look, there are people like this in every profession. Bradley Beal, to your point with Dame, is making ten, hundreds of millions of dollars. He's making about the same amount as Dame. Yep. And so he's making money beyond your wildest dreams. He's obviously in a city that he loves, D.C., which, which we all like. I like D.C. His family is happy. His kids are probably happy in the, where they're at. Got friends. He's an all-star just about every year. And he's got everything he wants, except he's not winning. But that he's happy. And I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. He's happy. His family's happy. Right. Right. It, 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 right. It, it's, it's like there are people in our business that don't have to win a Pulitzer. They're, they're not tripping if they don't get a Pulitzer. If I don't get one, I'm a, any, I'm Emmy a, award. If or? I don't get it, I'm tearing it up in here. I just, <laughs> I just want to put that on record. No, but you're absolutely right. Like, look, man, this, 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 this is a job. A job right. that has an expiration date. So what you must do is you must capitalize on your earning potential now. Right. You getting the lead. He's got to cover you, carry you the rest of your life. Everybody, though, not and just you. Can, right, right, right. Everybody, right. your kids' kids. You want to talk about in this in this country, we have a problem as African Americans uh, with creating generational wealth. Right. Right, because we didn't start in this country with the ability to generate right. generational Up until wealth. Recently, a right? few decades ago. So all of these people coming out saying, oh, they tripping and they stupid. Man, that little 30 million, 40 million you pass up on to go join some other team, and it, that has long lasting ramifications for your, it, the, your whole family. But here, here's the thing, and I said this about Bill where I, di I differentiate between him and Lillard and Iverson, because <clears throat> Iverson had the same mentality as Lillard, never wanted to leave Philadelphia, was like, I'm going to try my best to win a championship here in Philly and lead this team to that ring, and if I don't get it, I can live with that. Westbrook had the same mentality in OKC. The difference to me between them and Beal is that at least their teams, and I know Dame and the Blazers are down now, and I think they're going to stay down for the most part. But they he's been to a conference finals. Iverson had been to the finals. Westbrook had been to the finals, been to conference finals. I know he lost KD, but still, they were a playoff team regularly. They at least could look at something and see there's there are the makings, the foundation of, of a team that could one day compete for a championship is here. Here, Beal, they don't have that in Washington. No, they don't. But this is my ultimate point. This is what I really want to see how you feel about this. I respect Dame. I respected AI and, and Westbrook for their stance. But let's keep it real. Because the two players that we think of that are the poster boys for leaving a team, a franchise, to win a championship or championships are LeBron James and Kevin Durant. And here's what I'll say, Ephraim. As great as Dame is, first ballot Hall of Famer, top 75, all that, he is not at that super-duper historical elite level where you must win a championship. Where if you don't, even as people will give you credit for your individual greatness, there will always be the big, yeah, but right at the top of your, the, the paragraph when they talk about you. And I'm talking like LeBron James was being compared to Michael Jordan. He had to win. Kevin Durant was being compared to LeBron James after LeBron won in Miami and in Cleveland. He had to win. It's like Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing, we all recognize, man, he was great. Charles Barkley. But we, and I don't even put Barkley where Ewing was. Now, I do think Barkley was better than Ewing. Had a better career. But I'm saying Patrick came out of college, mm -hmm. right? He was going to be the next Bill Russell, this defensive stalwart who, you know, was going to lead the Knicks to the promised land. And never did. And when you think about Patrick Ewing, 
Yes, we acknowledge his greatness. But I'm telling you, one of the first thoughts is when he never won a championship. He, he underachieved. He didn't live up to the billing. Barkley didn't have that billing going in, and he, over, he exceeded what people thought he was going to do, even if he, though he didn't win a championship. But that, my point is, Dame is not there. Like, if Dame doesn't win a ring, Ephraim, nobody's going to be tripping. No. Nope. Oh, You're that, right. He didn't, you know what I mean? Like, and that's, there are a handful of guys that are at that level where it's like, you got to win. And so that's, that's the difference to me between what LeBron did and what KD did. And while I respect it, Dame's decision isn't as tough. Do you, you get what I'm saying? I, I get exactly where you're, you're, you're coming from. And to that point, let me ask you this question. Who are those players currently in the league who fit that billing who have not won a championship yet? Yeah, that's a great question. I think Luka will be will be there. He's not yet. He's still, what, fifth, fifth, fourth year? So it'll be his fifth year, I believe. Um, but Luka will be there. Uh, you know, most of the, like, Kawhi's obviously won. Giannis is won. Embiid, Embiid, I think, will be there. Yeah. You know? Yep. Um, what about? MB- Harden is there. What about Jokic? That's a good one. He's two time MVP. Right. No, I feel you. I, I, he, and he does strangely get a pass, doesn't he? Because he was no eliminated. Ever, yeah, in yes. The first and round, everybody's right? just like, oh, okay. Well, here, right. Here. Right. He strangely gets a pass. And I don't quite know why. So, I mean, because he's unguardable. You question. can't, you can't guard him. Like, I mean, he he, right. he has the ability from the center position to take over a game like very few can. Right. At that position. Right. And, but, and, but we don't. Maybe know, as time goes on, and I think some of it, like I mentioned with Ewing, I think, you know, maybe that's part of it is that Jokic kind of came out of nowhere to us. Um, Embiid. I don't like he. We didn't expect him to be Patrick Ewing either. You know what I mean? Like we expect him to be good, but he had just started playing ball in his teens, and he's from Cameroon. You know, so those two. Like I don't think people are killing Embiid yet. Maybe it's because they still got they're young, relatively young. But that's a great question. I, I will say this about the guards, and maybe we'll see a changing of the guard, so to speak, in that. The, one of the reasons there's not that pressure on Dame is because there are only three guards, small guards, and Dame is 6'2". Two. Mm-hmm. two small guards who have led many dynasties or dynasties. That's Isaiah Thomas in Detroit and Steph Curry. And if, if you throw in Gus Williams, you might remember Gus the Wizard yeah. Williams yep. in Seattle. Now, I don't know that that was his team. You had Dennis Johnson. You had Jack Sick, but That was like a really good team. But he was the leading scorer the year they won the championship. So if you want to throw him in as a smaller player leading a team to the championship. My point is this, Ephraim. It's rare. We, we, we don't really expect it from little guys. Because it, it. I just mentioned the three that have done it. Yeah. You, and so, and, and they, they had Hall of Fame help. Right. Absolutely. They had Hall of Fame help. Both of those guys had Hall of Fame help. Yep. And, 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 and so unless Dame is able to – or the – you know, ownership is able to fill that roster with Hall of Fame help, then you get to be Allen Iverson. Right. 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 And AI was one that got them close, obviously. Uh, alone. But, right. Virtually alone. You know, You're right. And, and, and so that in today's NBA, that is almost uh, it's so difficult to do. The well, la- what the- I wonder, Ephraim, is will that change because of the way the game is changed? Like Ja Morant, he's only 6'3". Mm-hmm. In, in four years, if he hasn't won a ring, will we be saying, yo, he he ain't quite what we thought he was. He hasn't gotten a ring. He hasn't got to the finals. Like, I wonder if that narrative is going to change where you do start to expect smaller guys to lead their teams to championships Maybe because the way Steph has done it and just because of the way the game has changed 
to really give smaller players some advantages. Well, you just got to have a, a, a dynamic supporting cast, man. I don't see – LeBron James is the last person to take a subpar team to the finals by himself. I'm talking about with Della Vadova and – Right. Uh, you, you know. Right. Just uh, – Nah, you're going to have to have talent. 